DeepSeek AI has been taking over the conversation as of lately with the addition of SERP. And the reason is because of their really amazing capability with SEO. Now, if you're not familiar with what SEO stands for, it stands for search engine optimization and is really vital and needed when it comes to online marketing, affiliate marketing, or even Pinterest affiliate marketing. The addition of these tools is absolutely a huge game changer when it comes to these online money-making methods because it helps with getting your material seen, which ultimately leads to more money for you. If you're new to the idea of affiliate marketing or Pinterest affiliate marketing, I have free courses, free beginner's guides. I'm gonna have those linked down below. If you're new to the concept and you just wanna learn about what it is, you can go check out those beginner guide videos down below. This video is going to be more of a guide on how to create aesthetically pleasing pins. And then this is also going to be a video that talks about these new additions of DeepSeek AI and SERP to my absolute favorite AI article generator on the market. And that's seowriting.ai. They have recently added these amazing features to the capability of their tool. And while this is not going to be a complete breakdown of how to use their tool in general, because I did just make a video on that linked in the description box down below. This is really going to be going over how to optimize those blog articles, utilizing that AI, and I'm going to be showing you how I do it as well. The very first thing that you want to do before ever creating your aesthetically pleasing pin to post onto Pinterest is you want to have a blog article or some type of component to it that you can add. So you wanna have that idea before you start. Now I will make a quick note here that Pinterest does not require anymore that you have a blog or website. However, this part is optional for those of you out there that wanna start a blog in 2025, that wanna have that successful blog that makes money through affiliate marketing, and then also linking that to Pinterest as well. So for those of you out there that are really interested in that, this part of the video is for you. I wanna kind of go ahead and show you how I create my blog posts and how this addition of DeepSeek AI plus SERP really optimizes that. Okay, so over here on my seowriting.ai tool, you can see they have the first AI solution for automated SEO, which is combining that DeepSeek AI model with SERP. And SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page. Now it's a page that appears after you search for something on a search engine like Google or Bing. And that is absolutely huge, you guys, because it's basically a magic tool that's utilizing the search results for when people are searching on Google or Bing, and it's optimizing your blog or your website material based on those search results. Now let's go ahead and quickly click in here to the one click blog post. That's usually my process. And let me kind of show you how I create a blog article that's optimized for the aesthetically pleasing pin that I'm about to show you how I would create. Now for my main keyword up here at the top, I kind of like to go off the Pinterest predicts report because the Pinterest predicts report is kind of giving you an idea of everything that's really booming and really popular right now in 2025 or what they predict to become popular and trend. Here is the Pinterest predicts report. And as you can see, there's a lot of great ideas on here. Now this is going to depend on what exactly the blog is that you're looking to write for. What's the niche of the blog that you're writing for overall feel of the blog. If these don't fit into what it is that you're looking to write for, no problem. But these are just ideas for you. And just for me to kind of give you an example of how you can optimize what it is you're creating material for, especially if you're in it to make some money and you're doing the affiliate marketing with it, you kind of want to make sure that you're going off trending topics. The trending topics can fit into your niche. Just look for trending topics. This can also be done through signing up for the Google Trends report, which I do have sent to my email every single day. And that's going to give you what's trending based on the day and week. With Pinterest predicts, you can see the predicted trends. And there's lots of different ones here like Sea Witchery, Surreal Surreys, Castle Core, Dulled Up, Fisherman Aesthetic. For this, I'm kind of kind of go with the fisherman aesthetic style, the trending search terms here. So fisherman sandals is up by 30%. Cable knit sweater is up by 110%. Fish bag is up by 50%. Ranco outfit aesthetic up by 35%. Sardine tattoo up by 80%. So for this already completed blog post that I have here, I wanna show you what I put into the prompt to get this. And then I want to go in and show you the SEO report for this completed blog article and what it has 
has in it that if you go back to the Pinterest predicts, it's already added those main keywords. I didn't have to do anything. It searched the web. It searched the search results. It picked up on those trending topics all on its own and it input that throughout the article. So I don't have to do a single thing. So for main keyword, I just input how to embrace fisherman aesthetic. After I input that main keyword of what I'm looking for, I'm going to generate a title. It generates an SEO optimized title all on its own. The core settings, I'm not going to go through each and every one of them again, because I just did a complete beginner's guide to this tool. However, what I really want to point out is a couple of things over here under core settings on the right. Under the AI settings, this is where you're going to select that new deep seek plus real time search. So by selecting that, it automatically optimizes all of these settings here that you would originally have to go in and choose what you want. This SERP, an AI model optimizes it. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I do want to add that when you are writing for a blog, I've heard people say, you know, they don't want the AI content on blogs anymore and they make a good point. But with this tool, the brand voice is something that you can go in, write an article about fisherman aesthetic or whatever it is that you're writing about. Write an article that has about, you know, 200 words or something. Just use your own voice on a Google document and then copy it and input it into the brand voice. What the brand voice is gonna do is it's gonna pick up on your writing style. So it's going to pick up and humanize the style of your writing based on you. So then after that, you can go in and add your brand voice to every other article that you create and it's going to sound like you. I also want to note that if you're doing this for affiliate marketing or a marketing online business and anything like that. In the details to include, it's a very important section because you can include things like book an appointment with me at, you can put your social media information there, anything you want there that's gonna personalize your articles, that's going to help you with the advertisement or whatever it is that you're looking to do with your online marketing or affiliate marketing, you can input there. Something else that's really important for the Pinterest affiliate marketing or affiliate marketing or anything like that in general, is under syndication, this feature is so cool because under Pinterest pin, you can just select yes. And then what that does is after it's created the blog article, it's going to create the content for your Pinterest pin, like the title, the description of your Pinterest pin. And then it's even going to give you an idea for what the Pinterest pin should look like to optimize it. And then after you've filled all that out, you can just select run, give it a few minutes because with this new AI and the addition of these new things, it will take just a few minutes to optimize and create that article. And then once created, here is a look at that article. What I wanna highlight and point out is under SEO report right here at at the top with a little target. If you select that, you can see the top 10 competitors in search, the search engine results page for this topic, the ranking of that, how SERP analyzed and optimized your article based on that. So what I kind of want to point out that I find really cool, if you go back to Pinterest predicts again, and you see those trending search terms, okay, all of those search terms that I pointed out, go back to your article under analyzing keywords frequency, those keywords are here. So as you can see, fisherman sandals, cable knit sweater, fisherman aesthetic. It has added those keywords. It picked all that up on its own. You don't have to do that extra research. You don't have to spend all that extra time looking for those keywords, making sure those keywords are added into your blog, any of that. This tool did it all on its own. Now, I also want to show you over here up at the top under syndication. This is where you're going to get the content for your Pinterest pins that we're now going to go create a really aesthetically pleasing pin for. So this is going to give you an idea for your pin or some type of fisherman inspired outfit. That's going to kind of be what I go off of. And then it gives you the caption. So the title of your Pinterest pin, embrace the fisherman aesthetic in 2025. It's also going to give you little things to add into the description of the pin, which I will show you. And then it also provides some hashtags that you can go in and add into the pin. So now let's go ahead and hop on over to Canva. I'm gonna show you how I create aesthetically pleasing pins for my Pinterest board that it can go in and just have a really optimized pin. So now in Canva, up here at the top under Pinterest pin, that's what I'm selecting it's going to give you the perfect size for your Pinterest pin. Once you've gotten that, you can see some of the templates here on the left of other successful or really attractive 
pretty Pinterest pin. Keep in mind, we're creating a pin that is optimized for the article that we just wrote or for the idea of the article that we just wrote. So we wanna make sure that we're adding in something that has got that fisherman aesthetic. We're creating something that has fisherman aesthetic to it. I personally like the look and feel and the color scheme of this specific one. And then for the pin, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go in here, add some type of cute saying, or you can take the words away. And what I like to do is add in some photo inspiration from things that I am going to put as links for people to buy. The very first thing is going ahead and deleting some of these photos that are in it. In order to delete, you just right click and select delete and delete image because you kind of want the grid. The grid is the outline of this pen. So just select delete image and then you're going to wanna go in and add photos or pictures of the feel of your pen. What I would do in this moment to gather photos is go back into the article that you just created and take a look at some of those key search terms like cable knit sweater, fisherman sandals, do a Google search or look on Amazon Associates, gather a picture of that item, and then we're gonna be inputting it into the Pinterest pin. What I like to do after I've gotten my photos in there, I just like to kind of play around with it. I like to add like a little sandal here. The way that you can do that is by selecting your photo and then just selecting background remove, removing the background, go ahead, put that in there. Also like a little beanie, like a cable knit beanie. Those are in style for this fisherman aesthetic. In order to get a photo that you've screenshot off of your computer or laptop or phone you're just going to go over here to the left under uploads and then upload that file and then once it's uploaded you can go ahead and just select it and it'll add it into the pin you can also add like a shadow to it in order to do that just select edit and then shadows are over here on the left under fx effects and then you can also add some type of cute graphic to it to make it look, you know, more fisherman to kind of go with the whole feel. So under elements over here on the left, you can just type in what it is you're looking for. I just type in fishing net because I feel like that would be a really cute feel for this. And I'm just going to scroll here and kind of look for one that looks real or that would look good on this pin. Again, you're going to want to keep your pins looking fashionable, stylish, and according to the Pinterest platform. Don't try and go against the grain with Pinterest it's not the platform for that. This is a style platform. It's a shopping platform. It's really geared towards women and it's really geared towards women who are looking to spend a little bit of money. Now here is my completed pin. As you can see, this is what I'm gonna use to pin on Pinterest connected to my blog article. So now it's time to go ahead and just download it. In order to download it, just go ahead and select share, download, and download again. I'm gonna now go back to seowriting.ai, hit the copy button, to copy the content of the blog article that I just created. Now that I'm into my personal website under my blog post portion, I'm gonna go in and paste the content from my blog article. Once you've saved your article, you can then go into your Pinterest business account and go ahead and create that pin. Now I'm in my Pinterest business. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the pin that I just created right here. And then I'm going to add in all of the things from the Pinterest pin syndication from seowriting.ai and to this portion, as you can see, there's a portion for the title, the description, the board that you want to choose to put this on, and then also tagged topics. And that's where you're going to kind of use those hashtags that SEO writing.ai recommended based on SEO optimization. And then you can just go in and publish it. Okay, so that's how I have optimized my Pinterest affiliate marketing with the new DeepSeek AI plus the addition of SERP into this amazing AI blog article creation tool that I always use and always recommend. If you also wanna get started using seowriting.ai, I am gonna have a direct link to their website to get signed up down below. You can get started for free. I'm also gonna have a coupon code right here on screen for 25% off any plan that you decide to purchase. I hope you guys found this both inspirational and helpful for getting started on your own journey in 2025. As always, thank you guys so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.